we, we visit, visit Amador. Amador. Thank you for joining us out here in Amador County. I'm Mike. I'm Monique. And we're going to go out and visit the county, but we can't decide on which vehicle to take. Well, your Jeep's a little too dirty. Oh, I can get the leaves and the branches out of there. They'll <laughs> probably blow out on the highway. But that Porsche looks a little bit cl too clean for my liking. Well, maybe we should race. Ah, uh, that's probably not a great idea. I don't think you'd stand a chance here on this dirt road. Well, my friend, I think you've met your match. Well, maybe I have, but I don't think we should do that without permission of the wine keeper. <laughs> oh, gee. Uh, I have to thank you for watching, and please stay tuned for more TSPN TV programming. We'll be right back. Oh. She went right. I'm going left. Hi, I'm Mike. And I'm Monique. And we're here in the historical town of Volcano. And Volcano is one of the oldest, most historical places that you're going to find here in Amador County. It's a really beautiful spot, but I wonder how did they come up with the name Volcano? Well, I don't think anybody really knows for sure. Um, this was a a mining area where they hydraulically mined this area and I think we can show our viewers a photo uh, while we talk about the park and the area. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a photo that I gathered from uh, one of the local historians here in town that's from the 1850s and they hydraulically mined this area so deep down into the earth that it was a big hole, there was a big cavern here and they called it uh, Soldier's Gulch and the gulch was, um, as our viewers look at the photo, uh, was this huge hole that they had created because they had found placer gold in the surface of the earth. It was the uh, soldiers from the Mexican army that were, who were stationed down in San Jose. And once they found that gold in the surface of the ground here, they just started blasting everywhere they could. And uh, they pulled about 80, 90 million dollars at the time of gold out of Volcano. Well, the gold rush was on then, wasn't it? It was on. I mean, 90 million dollars, close to 100 million dollars worth of gold. At 20 dollars an ounce, you could probably get your calculator out, and that would probably come out to, let's see, about six billion dollars, if I'm correct in my mind. I'm just kidding. About six billion dollars worth of gold is a lot of gold, yeah, it is. you know, in today's prices. And Main Street went all the way past the St. George Hotel as mm -hmm. people look at that photo and they see the St. George up on the up on the cliff they can see the buildings in the front and the St. George in the background from the 1850s but Main Street went straight on past uh, the St. George mm -hmm. way out into the valley and then they started finding the gold and they just took all those homes and they told them hey you're out by tomorrow morning <laughs> we're yeah. taking over that's right it was the first eminent domain process and and they started blasting out and that's why you see that big cavern that goes down by the creek and that big depression in the earth mm -hmm. out there so there there were several little volcanic dips uh... in the earth that were all unfortunately uh... man-made mm -hmm. mm -hmm. but it's such a beautiful day here i can't yeah. think of a uh, nicer gorgeous. place to be it's gorgeous and if you've ever been to volcano and if you haven't you should come over the park is where we're sitting here and it's just lovely it's quaint quiet so green and lush um, beautiful rock outcroppings and the town itself has been preserved so well it still feels like the 1800s here let's go take a walk around what do you think maybe a little bakery action or uh... something sweet sounds good to me <laughs> let's do great. it let's do it okay when I think of Saturdays I'm like Jug and Rose I never miss this place on a Saturday morning it's the only day of the week it's open and I just uh, love popping in here oh, oh it smells amazing well, let's yeah. go inside let's do it Hi, Jordan. Jordan. How are you today? Good. Good to see you. Thank you. Well, tell me about what you're doing here. It smells amazing. Well, thank you very much. We always say it should. It's a bakery. Mm -hmm. So, um, you want to know what we have? Tell me. Okay. This is a sourdough boule, uh, fresh peach scones. This is bacon and cheese croissant, uh, sticky buns, apple turnovers with local apples, uh, rustic rolls. Buttery oatmeal crisps with cranberry raisin mm -hmm. and walnuts. Unique. This is a quiche with broccoli, caramelized onions, cheddar, corn, and bacon. Wow. Chocolate croissant, 
sourdough bagels. These are peach tarts. We have a raisin cinnamon loaf. Mm -hmm. And then down here is a rustic loaf okay. down at the bottom. Wow. Yeah. So you've been working since when? Um, since uh, the Cannonball Run of 20, I think 11. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then, do you start early in the morning? Obviously, it takes no, quite a bit of time. I don't. Oh, really? My partner, Katie Hood, comes in early in the morning. I come in Friday evening and do my prep. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, Very and good. we both teach full time. Really? At West Point. Yeah. Amazing. So you have got your plate full. That's why we're only open one day. That makes sense now. Yes. Mm -hmm. I know what I'm going to have, and that's going to be the sticky bun and a cup of real coffee over there that Paul's uh, so great at making. Wow. Sounds good to you, Monique. Everything looks delicious, but maybe one of the um, breakfast croissants? Absolutely. Okay, and a cup of coffee would be great. Thank you. Wow, you can do lattes and uh, espressos and got the whole thing going on over there. We're just going to sit out in the back, and okay. uh, I know that. Yeah, that sounds perfect. We'll just have you bring it to us out there. Wow, this is just a peaceful place to hang out at the Jug and Rose on Saturday mornings after a stressful week, and you're just uh, catching your breath. It's just a great place to catch your breath. Beautiful. And, uh, just the surroundings, the birds tweeting, watching the people go right. by. Thank enjoy. you. And Thank enjoying you. just the perfect scenery here. Really love it. Well, we're going to go in and take a look at some of, uh, after we finish the sticky bun. And what did you order? I had the croissant. It's a breakfast oh, croissant. Oh, gosh, that looks great. Yes. We're going to go in and see Jordan pull some bread out of the oven or something special. Yes, okay. yes. Let's see what she's doing back there. <laughs> that would be great. Okay. okay, Jordan, so let's see what you have in the oven today. We have four loaves of challah. Oh, my gosh. That looks beautiful. That'd be a really nice uh, item to bring home for Thanksgiving, too. Absolutely. Make it easy for me. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Makes Absolutely really good beautiful. French toast too. Does it? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm try that. I'm kind of the pro at French toast, so I'll have well, to give it a shot. Okay. Well, we're here in the kitchen, so we might as well show Paul, because that is, again, the, what, the glue that binds the whole thing, <laughs> makes the whole thing <laughs> come together. You have to make coffee and do the dishes. You have to do the dishes. Most people don't realize what goes into having a commercial kitchen. I mean, when this building, we first looked at this place when you first came in here with Jordan, it needed a lot of work. Uh, well, it had been closed for a couple of years, and um, to bring everything up to code, we had to uh, install new kitchen, new sinks. Uh, there's a total of seven sinks in the between the kitchen and the laundry room, so it's a uh, the laundry um, portion. So um, yeah, it's a, I mean it's the a county lot of work. standard of bringing all the pipes out to the street. You had this whole backyard all trenched yeah, out. Yeah, we we opened up the back. Uh, we put in a, um, a grease trap, and you know we just uh, brought everything up to code. So it's you keep, know people working. people can see how you guys have restored this place, but what they can't see is what the community feels about it, and the residents here throughout the upcountry area, yeah. and everything you've done for all of us. And, yeah. and, you know, you're working all week. You flew in last night, and yeah, you know, Jordan's teaching school. And, you know, we really appreciate their being here and yeah. having this place open. And it's just yeah. a great community place to be. Yeah, well, we, we love it. it down here in Volcano. It's, so do it's I. A, it's and our I favorite spot to be on Saturday morning, <laughs> for sure. It sure is, right. sure is. And we encourage all of our viewers to come down here and enjoy Jug and Rose. Well, everybody knows where we are now, at the country store with Debbie Dunn and one of the best burgers uh, around. Hi, Debbie. And yeah, I'm doing great. Monique and I are here enjoying your store, and you can get a great burger with a beer on tap. I mean, the, the beers on tap are about two dollars here, and you can get a snowshoe. I mean, it's yeah. a fantastic yeah. deal, and a great place to have a uh, you know a little bit of lunch. And this is where the movers and shakers really hang out uh, here in Volcano in the back room here, and uh, it's just a great place to be. And I know during the winter that snowshoe uh, snowshoe ale is really a pretty good. pretty good one. I really like the quaint dining room with the kitchen in the dining room. There's Debbie um, getting one of the burgers ready right now. And it's just such a good feel in here. It's just, uh, you know, nice atmosphere, a little wine, a little beer, great you know, burgers. When you're in Volcano, the country store is the real thing. This is uh, really going back to the late 1800s. and. This place is an operational store, and Debbie's going to give us a little tour of the store and uh, show our viewers what the country store is all about. I forgot to mention that that burger goes out in a gold pan. I mean, how, how authentic is that? A nice cup of chili and a great burger in a gold pan? Come on. <laughs> it doesn't get any better than that. Business. I see that you have an excellent wine selection, 
and it's not only a restaurant but a very full functioning grocery store there's quite a few items staples unusual gifts it's just a, a myriad of things here so tell me a little bit about what you're doing well I think the miracle of the country store is although it has today's items and things that we need to use every day um, it's like walking into a twilight zone it's stepping back 50 60 100 years ago and the way things used to be it's entertaining because there's lots to see of right. the way things were 100 years ago but at the same time you can pick up a loaf of bread a gallon of milk sit down and have a glass of wine a cup of coffee um, it, it uh, we we try to keep on hand those things that tourists would need so like mm -hmm. toothbrushes toothpaste you right. know the things that we forget when we pack the bags mm -hmm. um, and then everyday items so that um, versus having to drive another 5 10 15 miles to get something we've got pasta we've got a loaf of bread we've got laundry detergent you know you see all these old photos uh, you know as you go throughout Amador County but the thing about the country store is you're not looking at photos you're actually in the photo this is the same table this tablecloth. I mean, this is the same table that these guys were playing cards at over a hundred years ago on the turn of the century. So, I mean, you're you're not looking at a photo when you're in Volcano. You are in the photo. The general store, the country store here, really is the uh, the place that just will will just really a, give you a sense of history, real Thank history. Thank you so much for having us. You here. bet. Thanks, you guys, for Wonderful coming. Wonderful to in. talk with you. Thank you so much. And if there was a one thing I have always supported, it's historic values. It's the one thing we have in this county that so few other counties in the state You're have. maintaining it in a big way. Yes, it? absolutely. That. All right. Take care, Thanks you guys. Thank you. Well, we had to come over here and show everybody the floors over here at the town hall. This place has been completely restored over the past few years. And uh, thanks to the Dalton family uh, with the floors, but also about $20,000 worth of sweat equity with the residents here in Volcano and Proposition 40 funds that uh, came from not only the state but the federal government. It was about $400,000 worth of restoration that took place here and the, all the kitchens and the bathrooms, the whole back of the building was completely refurbished. Whatever it is that's being put on here in the hall, you're like you're welcome into it you don't have to be a local you can be from anywhere in the county you can be from out of town and you're welcomed in with such graciousness and warmth you feel a part of the community right away oh there's such a collection of the history with all the photography and everything that's been put together here this is a great place to visit well mike i think we're just going to eat and drink our way through the county today i think we're going to have to it's uh you know we're here at the union in the courtyard which is uh, one of my favorite places in the county it just has to uh, be on your on your list of places to be Definitely. what looks good on the uh, menu to you monique well i'm thinking shrimp scampi sounds pretty good to oh, me oh that does sound good well yeah. i have to order the fried chicken because the chef uh, has divulged his recipe that they make the batter uh, from the fried chicken they make that out of Anderson Boont Amber. Wonderful. So if that isn't a uh, connection, you know, you drink the same beer as what you're eating in your menu. Well, we're going to have Bailey take us for a little tour upstairs and show us a couple of the rooms and uh, Good, see a little bit more of what the union's all about. So this is one of our king rooms. This is the Lamone room. Um, all of our king size rooms, we have two of them. Of course, come with a king size bed. A uh, full bath with a uh, shower and a tub. It's huge. I mean, it's just beautiful. It's like a big suite, and those tubs are just uh, amazing. Yeah, very nice. Let's take nice a look at it on that deck. I'd love yeah, to see. Uh, right oh, my gosh. What a setting, you know, to have it right here off the room and be able to, you know, look out over a volcano and. You know, I don't know if I told you, Bailey, but I actually live up on the top of that mountain back I there. I, I look down on Volcano, oh, and uh, it's a special place. You see all these leaves changing just seasonally. You just feel it. Uh, it's just it's one of the most incredible parts of Amador County. Yeah, we, have, we really enjoy it, especially in the fall right now when the leaves are changing, sitting out here and, and grabbing a book, a glass of Amador County wine. All you the can, wines uh, are the best. Right? Yeah. You yeah. can uh, look at the leaves changing, and it is really special. Well, we want to thank our viewers for watching today. And if there's a place out there in Amador County where you'd like to have us visit, why don't you let us know online at tspntv.com. We're uh, done here for today in Volcano. We're going to have to come back, though. Absolutely. Can't wait to come back and see we it have, again. I invite you all to come out, we, locals and visitors alike. We have to come back as soon as possible. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks and for watching. Please stay tuned for more TSPN TV programs.